Hey everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I'm back with another video on the TazCraft server. It is episode 13? It might be 14. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but, we are back, and I know it has been such a long time, and yes, you're, you're seeing... Yeah, yeah, you're you're seeing in the background. Um, we have an iron farm now. <laughs> um, so fun story. Basically, um, I recorded a full episode of Tazcraft, but basically all the audio, um, like was ruined because in the background you could hear the Minecraft sounds. So, like if I broke a block, you'd hear it incredibly loud. Um, so it was literally just to the point where I couldn't stand it and I couldn't get myself to post it. It was horrible. Um, but in that episode, we made an iron farm, and it was horrible. <laughs> um, it's actually, it wasn't that bad. It was just hard to get the um, villagers into place. Uh, but somehow, there is only one villager in here, and there has to be three for this farm to work correctly. Um, so we got, just got to put another two villagers in there. Shouldn't be too hard, because I kind of know how to do it now. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get right on to doing that. Um, but I just want to show you how much iron we have now. And I'd also like to apologize again. I'm so sorry that you guys are just being thrown into this all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, we have a good amount of iron now. But yeah, so we have tons and tons of iron now, which is awesome. Um, but I also have some news, okay? Um, please don't skip over this. Please do not skip this, okay? Because it's really important to my channel and for TazCraft itself. Um, basically what's happening is if you guys don't know Hermitcraft, um, who is the biggest server of Minecraft history, I think. I mean, like, there's larger servers, but YouTube-wise, it's like where all the YouTubers, like, play survival. It's, it's cool. Um, basically, they're restarting. They're, they already restarted um, their season, and so now they're on season 7 with a totally new world, and everyone of the Taskcraft server is basically fans with the Hermitcraft server, and we just kind of want to follow, you know, um, their how they work and whatnot. Um, so we're basically just trying to make our own little server, kind of like the Hermitcraft server. And we've decided that we're probably going to restart with them. And like they're doing, um, also restart our nether once 1.16 comes out. Um, personally, I don't really want to make this decision, but I am also technically not the full owner of Tazcraft anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, uh, I'm don't want to take a break from Minecraft, um, but I want to have my channel become more than just Minecraft because I love Minecraft. It's a phenomenal game, but there's all there's so many other phenomenal games out there that I also enjoy playing. And being a YouTuber, basically all my time is spent playing Minecraft at this point, and I can't play other games like Zelda or. Um, Katamari Damacy or Overwatch or stuff like that that I really enjoy playing. Uh, I can't play those anymore because, well, I can, mm -hmm. but then my channel is going to suffer because, you know, I don't have as much uh, content. Um, so, yeah. I forgot to mention uh, because, you know, I'm not going to be doing as much Tazcraft anymore. That's the reason why um, I've given ownership back to Taz, but I also asked Haxter to be uh, a co owner because. Uh, he is always active and whatnot. Uh, I'm still going to be on the server. I'm still going to be an owner. I'm just also giving more ownership to other people. That way I don't have to focus so much on Tazcraft. So I'm still going to be doing Minecraft for a while. Um, there's no reason to worry. But I think in the upcoming maybe month or two, I might start doing some other stuff. And one thing that I really, really want to start is a series of uh, Portal um, so I love that game. I've played Portal 1. I have not played Portal 2 yet. Uh, so we'll start with Portal 1 because it's been such a long time and then I want to go to Portal 2 and whatnot. Uh, but look forward to that and uh, it's, it's quite a ways away. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, and if you guys don't really care to see that content, then please still stay subscribed because I will still be posting Minecraft quite a lot. My main is still going to be Minecraft, don't worry. Um, but yeah, that's enough blabbering, and let's get on with today's video. Wow, I literally just like blabbered on for five minutes straight. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, we're just going to put in the two villagers really fast. I blocked off um, the zombies so that uh, now the villagers won't like spawn any more iron golems for a short period of time. 
Um, that should just make things a little bit easier. Um, but this honestly might be the last episode of Tazcraft Season uh, 2. Season 3 sh will be starting um, hopefully soon. Uh, but yeah, so just a heads up, guys. Like, this might be it. Where did my... Oh, he's sleeping. Okay, that makes sense. I was about to, like, freak out about where my other villager went. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not gonna really, like, work on a bunch of large projects. I do want to get this iron farm just done, just so I have it out of the way. Um, but things like, you know, the storage system, just like in, um, what, Minefighter, I think season one. Uh, maybe it was season two? I don't, I don't remember how... I, how ta uh, Minefighter worked actually um, but yeah just like in Minefighter I'm not going to be able to finish my storage system again um, which is horrible <laughs> it makes me sad um, but you know what it's okay um, so today we're going to focus on really just finishing up my base putting in the finishing touches and making it just as pretty as possible I don't want to like finish the season without having a nice base um, because last time Minefighter, once again, UFO, we didn't finish it. Um, uh, but my plan for season three of Tazcraft, I'm not going to be as active, um, because I am going to, you know, be, well, actually it's kind of hard to say how active I'm going to be, because I really want to put a lot more time into these episodes so that I can get a lot more done. Um, so that being said, I should probably stop, like, blabbering on. Um, but also I don't want to be, like, too active because i'm going to be doing a lot of other stuff like i'm keep on saying anyways enough of that let's finish this iron farm wow this is really really a lot easier so basically apparently the way to do it is you get it all oh wow he already picked his perfection profession um you just get the whole thing built you take out this one block get get them out of their mine cart and they go right in <laughs> i wish i knew that i wish i knew that you guys don't have footage of me struggling but it was horrible <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did not build it first. I put them into position first and then built it around them, and it was a mess. Um, and then I watched the actor's video, and I was like, oh. I already, like, watched this video, but, like, I didn't really pay, it, like, close attention on how he was doing it, because I didn't know I was making an iron farm. Um, but yeah, so that's already done. That was so easy. Why is that guy not picking a profession, though? Oh, there he goes. Okay, we're good. Uh, so yeah, now I will pick up all my resources that... I and that are going into the water, and uh, let's go finish up our base. I almost forgot to remove the blocks so that they can see the zombie again, and that would have sucked, because then it wouldn't have produced any iron, and I would be sitting here very confused. Uh, but yeah, so that is finished. Let's go to our base, like I said earlier. I'm sorry this video is mostly just me, like, talking and babbling and being really annoying, um, but there's just so much, so many things I've, like, been doing recently, and wow, I just hit my... Oh dear. Oh dearie dearie dear. Oh dearie me. Oh no. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, so let's read these signs. Uh, thought your base needed some chickens and it needed to be a little overgrown for them to live. XD. Um, this is now beyond 77. Uh, probably not true, but don't care. You know, so here's the thing. I was actually told that this prank was coming. Um, I kind of forgot about it, though. Because <laughs> that was like a week ago. I haven't signed into the Taskcraft server in a very long time. Um, and, huh. I, I really shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> um, but I am. He really even went to the extra mile to, like, put all this grass in. Okay. Um, well, I'm sorry, chickens. Um, but, yep, you're going. Uh, and remember what I said earlier about, yeah, people being a fan of, of the Hermitcraft server? Yeah, well, <laughs> if you guys are a fan too, then you'll definitely know where this came from. <sighs> yeah. Welp, with my fire aspect sword, we don't even have to cook it, so we have like two stacks of roasted chicken now. Oh, a little bit more, apparently. Um, yeah. Welp, I guess thank you for the free food. Um, also, I was thinking that my base actually looks kind of good overgrown like this. Um, but if you guys are wondering, we're gonna take it down because I want it just nicely and clean cut, you know? This base is supposed to be nice and, like, proper, and I like it that way. How- how did you- How did it- What? 
what? <laughs> Get, I can't even, I can't even reach it. Oh my, how is it doing that? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I did not realize those were like a one hit, but that's, that's weird. I didn't, huh. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying before this whole chicken fiasco uh, is that I also want to do uh, less uh, Let's Play stuff and do more like Bed Wars and like challenges. Um, and also world records. Um, I posted a video not that long ago about a world record. Uh, my last video actually. Um, but I actually enjoy doing it and there's some Guinness world records that I want to attempt. Um, and I already actually have attempted one and I sent it in and if it gets approved then I will share it with you guys. But until then, you'll have to wait. Um, but um, let's continue on. So we have our nice little decorating shulker box right here. Um, and I thought that it would be nice if we put a few of these around, but I'm also wondering if it might be better if we just kind of like take a bunch of these leaves um, and just kind of like spread them around and like make it look nice-ish. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but like, you know, have it more messy. I know I just literally said that I want this base to be more clean cut. But also, I feel like this might fit in really well. Um, I'll probably go with this, though. I think that probably is the better option. So I do definitely like it, but I don't know if I like it everywhere, like on each corner. I think that it might look nice for those two to have it, but I think I want something different on every, like, you know, corner. Oh, wait, why am I taking these ones off? I just said I like that. I want to take, like, these off and, like, replace it with something also kind of greenish. Um... But being the very horrible builder that I am, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to go ask my friend Kenzie. <laughs> I do like that, though. That's fun. Okay, so we're keeping that. Kenzie still has not responded about the ve vegetation thing on this side, though. Um, so we might have to wait a little bit. Well, we'll while we wait for Kenzie, um, I made this big pit for the storage system. And obviously we're not going to be doing that now because the server is going to be restarting soon. Um, so I can't stand having just a big pit like this. So we're going to make it symmetrical to this at least. Um, and I don't know if we're going to actually add the redstone. I mean, I guess might as well. That way it just like looks nicer. Because like, I don't want to have this side be totally different from that side. Ugh, but we don't have many comparators. Eh, we'll figure it out. Um, so I actually did all the redstone. <laughs> this is a fully functional uh, circuit, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's neat. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I actually want to, like, put the stuff in and just finish it off because, like, it'd be the first time I finished my so storage system. And, like, we'll probably still have another week or maybe even two before we go to the next season. I don't know if I'm going to record it. Um, but you know what, if, I feel like it would just be something I could get off my bucket list, like, yeah, I made a storage system, take that life. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to actually try and fill most of these up, but I don't know about all of them, there's a lot here. <laughs> but before we actually do that, I just threw one of these for fun, and it, I was totally expecting it to go that way, because that's where the, uh, end portal that, we're bi that we've been using is, but it went this way. <laughs> I want to go find the other end portal, because why not? I, I don't think I've like ever done that before. I like found two end portals. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just go and do that for fun, I guess, because I got nothing better to do. <laughs> How does Sabrina make something this beautiful like within like a few days of playing on the server? And I can hardly finish my base in the full season. <laughs> I mean, like this is gorgeous. Oh, I'm, I'm so jealous. <laughs> so it should supposedly be right underneath this island. It looks like there's something there. Is that? That might be an ocean monument. That is an ocean monument. Interesting. Um, but yeah, so nothing to do but just go down, I guess. <laughs> well, I found a mine shaft, which is fun. Oh, it's like small, though. <laughs> yeah, there's like nothing. <laughs> Here we go. And I already hear mobs, which is fun, I guess. Kind of. Okay, um... Doesn't look like there's anything here. That goes into a cave. Oh, I guess we're just gonna go searching for a while. Well, I finally found it, but that was very, very stupid of me. I literally was wandering around here for ages 
going to all these different rooms, but I didn't go into this one. <laughs> Um, but we did find it, which is good. Uh, so now we can just pop these in. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop and we have another gateway to the end, which I don't think that we really needed, but we have it anyways, which is awesome. Um, so I'm just going to block these off and I'm going to make a quick portal. Well, there we go. Now we have another portal to the end. Um, and this one is much, much, much closer to my bases, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, if we just go through, you can see that the end portals were right there. And actually, we're just going to go through that. And then we're going to go through the one over here. That way we can just go back home really nice and fast and easy. Um, but yeah, so that was a fun, nice little side project. I'm going to go take a break from Tazcraft and um, yeah, find a seed. Try to find a seed for Season 3. So it has been confirmed. This is the last episode of Tazcraft. Um, but we will be back very, very shortly. Like, literally, as soon as this video is out, the next season has already started. And I just have to start recording on it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's gonna be happening Saturday, and I might release this Sunday, or maybe Saturday? I don't know. We'll see, depending on how much time I have to edit. Uh, but anyways, where did we leave off? Because this is the next day. <laughs> well, now that has been confirmed that, like, it's ending basically in two days, um, I think that the storage system is a little bit of a waste of time. Exactly how I ended Mindfighter. <laughs> I just wasted a lot of time on, like, the storage system. Um, but yeah, so, um, I think that we should just do a few nice little shots of the server. There's not much I really want to get done, honestly. My base, I don't really know what else to do. I think that looks really pretty. Let's go take another look at that. Like I was saying, my base is, I mean, it's pretty. I really, really love it. Uh, let's clean up, clean up these little shulkers really fast, though. And, like, I, I think that it's absolutely beautiful, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. This took me so long. Um, so I think that we should just, you know, take a second and just, you know, take a little few looks at the server, finished product. Thank you to everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to say thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in another video. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm really happy you guys checked out the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching though. And thank you for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. And with that, I am sad to say that season two of Taskcraft is over. Um, but thank you guys so much. It has, I really, really enjoyed Tazcraft. It's been such a fun time. Um, and so many memorable things have happened, and I'm so happy that I was part of it. Uh, but Season 3 will be back very, very soon. Um, so as I said, I believe 13 times, which is actually not that much for a full season. Thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye. Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out, and I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because, like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out.